Let's look at a couple of titrations and see if we can predict the equivalence point or the end point pH. So we'll titrate each of these things. HCl, that's a strong acid, a pKa of around minus 7, very large K. B, this is formic acid, a pKa of around 3. And ammonia, pKb of around 5. So two acids and a base. We'll titrate them appropriately. If there are acids, we'll titrate them with a base. If it's a base, we'll titrate it with an acid. The question is, at equivalence point, which has the pH less than 7? A, B, or C? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at a possible explanation for each answer. A. HCl is a strong acid, so the pH at equivalence will be less than 7. B, formic acid is a weak acid, so the pH at equivalence will be an equilibrium less than 7. Or C, NH3 is a weak base, so it will be a weak acid solution at equivalence, hence a pH of less than 7. Think about those three and make a selection. We're looking at the titration of some weak acid and base solutions. Now, when you titrate a weak acid or a weak base with a strong base or a strong acid, the titration curve looks something like this. We have the acid being converted to its conjugate base. Now, if this were a base, it would be a base being converted to its conjugate acid. Either way, at equivalence point, what you have is in the weak acid solution, you've added one mole of strong base for every mole of weak acid, and you have only the weak base present at equivalence. If it were the weak base solution, you have titrating a weak base, the pH is dropping. But again, at equivalence point, you've added one mole of strong acid for every mole of weak base. You convert the weak base into its conjugate acid. That's what titration is. It's converting the weak acid into its conjugate base or the weak base into its conjugate acid. So let's look at how that looks. We have three possible species, HCl the first one. When I take HCl to equivalence point and convert it all into its conjugate base, its conjugate base is Cl minus, the chloride ion. Chloride ion is a horrible base. HCl, very strong acid, means its conjugate base, very weak base. In fact, this is not basic at all. You know, a solution of sodium chloride, the chloride ion solution, will be neutral. So this will be around pH 7. Here's the weak acid, formic acid. When I titrate that to equivalence point, I'll convert every mole of the acid into a mole of its conjugate base. And then the conjugate base will have an equilibrium making the solution slightly basic. For our third choice here, ammonia, that's a weak base. I would titrate that with a strong acid and convert it into its conjugate acid. So at equilibrium, I'd have a solution of a weak acid. So this solution slightly acidic. So which has a pH that's less than 7, that's slightly acidic at equivalence point? Well, it's the solution of the weak base. So weak acids are converted into their conjugate bases, making the equivalence point pH basic. Weak bases are converted into their conjugate acids, making the equivalence point slightly acidic. In this case, ammonia has an acidic equivalence point.